We're going to be covering how to do year-end inventory in this video. It's a question we get all the time and it can be very complicated. We don't have any built-in tools to handle that, but we do give you the information you need to manage this on your own effectively. Um, so we're going to walk through a couple different ways to do this. It's not the only two ways to do it. We found this to be pretty good solutions though. We're going to show you um, how to do this using Google Sheets, which is available for free, and how to do this in Excel. Um, you likely need a license to use Excel. Uh, the Excel version is a little bit easier. It has its own caveats, but both options will have the exact same result. So we're going to cover both. Here I've got a collection that I created. I've named it inventory. This would be your primary collection. And the first thing that you would need to do is to export all of your barcode data. And the reason we do barcode data instead of collection data is so that you get every individual copy exported um, with its um, custom barcode. If you don't have custom barcodes, this is going to be a little bit harder. You can do this with ISBNs as well, um, but you, you, know, you might encounter uh, a little bit more a uh, little bit more problems with duplicate items so we're going to go ahead and go to settings and in the collections tab we'll click on export barcodes data we'll select the inventory collection and we'll click export i've already actually done that it's my barcodes file down here and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hop over to google sheets i'm going to create a blank google sheet i'm going to go to file and import I'm gonna click upload and I'm gonna drag and drop this file. I'm gonna go ahead and click import data and it's gonna bring all my items over. So here you can see we have a bunch of information. We really don't need all this information for inventory. However, we don't have to delete it all either. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this item type column because it's kind of in my way and I actually wanna insert a column at the beginning. So I'm gonna insert a column to the left and I'm gonna name this column scanned. So what you do here is you go through your collection and you'd scan each item and as you'd scan it would add a barcode to each individual one of these cells. I actually have a little bit of a sample set of data over here that I'm going to grab and I'm going to paste it in here and actually let's paste that without. There we go, without any formatting. And this is just simulating the fact that maybe I've gone through here and scanned. They're in no particular order. I just scan them in here, it doesn't matter. And as you can tell, we have 16 items on the right and we have 12 on the left. And so we know we're missing some items, but we don't know exactly which ones. And if you had thousands of items, this would be really hard to parse. You could sort these and eh, it's a problem. So we're gonna use a formula to do this instead. So what I like to do is go ahead and select this column because we want to highlight all of the ones that are missing from this column. Then we're gonna go to format and we're gonna go to conditional formatting. Now we're gonna choose single color. We're gonna leave this as our range. We're gonna choose custom formula. And before I put that in, I'm gonna change the formatting style to red because we know that these are missing. And then the formula we're gonna use is this. I'm gonna paste it in here. It's available in the description as well. And I'll just walk through it really quickly. And it says equals count if, so it's gonna go through the items and count, and it's gonna start with A2, which is right here. And it's gonna go all the way through A16, which is right here. So if you had like a thousand items, you'd want to change this to a 1000. And we can do that here and it's not going to change the result, it's going to work. And then we want to compare that to starting with B2 and working our way down. So here's B2 and we're going to work our way down. So you might need to adjust this to match your specific um, style sheet. And then you want to make sure that they, um, that there's a mismatch that it highlights them in the color of red. Changes to whatever you want. I like the color red. And as you can see, it's already working. So that's really all there is to it. You can just copy and paste this formula in here. And as long as you make sure that you have your um, cells matching what needs to match in this formula, it's gonna highlight the ones that are missing. You can come look, this is, oh, this is Empire State, and it's got a specific call number, so I can go look to see if it's there and find out if it's actually missing, or maybe it was overlooked when I was scanning. Maybe it's currently checked out. 
Um, this obviously is going to work better if you have everything checked in before you run your inventory, but that's really all there is to it. And you can, this will update live, so let's say, oh, I didn't get that one. Oh, now it's highlighted. Well, that one's missing too, and now it's highlighted. And um, so that's how this is done with Google Sheets. Now we're going to do this with Excel, and it's very much the same process, but you don't need to know a formula. So we're going to switch over to Excel, and I've actually already imported my file. I just did file open, I opened my file, and here's the first annoying part about um, Excel, is that it automatically formats, formats all of your data as scientific format, and that's not helpful to us. So we have to change that before we make any saves to this file. I have also gone in here and I've populated this scan column already just to save time. This isn't here when I imported the file, I added this. So we're gonna select this column and we're gonna go to format, cells and we're going to say a number and we're going to give it zero decimal places and click OK. And now we got our barcode data and we're going to do the same thing here. Format cells. There it is. And we're going to choose number and set to zero decimal places. And now we have those. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this dymo column because we don't really need that for inventory purposes. So in this example, you're going to select all of the sample data that you want to compare. And then you're gonna to go to the Home tab and you're gonna find conditional formatting and click on that. You're gonna go over Highlight Cell Rules and come down to Duplicate Values. And then you're gonna change this from Duplicate to Unique, which means it's looking for unique items and then it's gonna format them with this red color. We're gonna click OK. And just like that, it's working. And it's the exact same result we had before. I'm going to delete one of these values and it's going to update live just like the other cell sheet. So you can do this with either one, whatever you have handy, whatever you prefer, they'll both work. Um, hopefully you guys find that helpful. If you have any questions at all, let us know.